أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا أبي القاسم محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In today's lecture, we're going to be talking about Imam Al Hassan uh, ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib. Peace be upon him. Uh, like we talked before, we're going to be talking about the Prophet Muhammad uh, and his family. Uh, we're going to be talking briefs about their lives, their birthday, uh, their burial, the place of their burial, the reason for their deaths, uh, all of these stuff. Uh, today we're going to be concentrating on Al Imam Al Hassan, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, uh, and we're going to start with a brief about Imam Hassan, and it's going to be uh, Al Imam Al Hassan. His name was formal name, like we said. His formal name was Al Hassan ibn Ali ibn Abi Talib. His dad was Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him. His mom was Fatima al Zahra, the daughter of the Prophet, peace be upon both of them. Um, and secondly, uh, we're gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about his nickname. There, he got a lot of nicknames. What he was famous for was Al Al Mushtaba, Al Hassan Al Mushtaba, Al Zaki, Advisor, Al Nasih, the Guardian, the the Great Sabbat, and the Master of the Use of Paradise. Sayyid Shabab Al Jannah. That's a uh, that's a hadith uh, from the Prophet Al Hassan Wal Hussein, Sayyida Shabab Ahl Al Jannah. Uh, this means Al Hassan Wal Hussein, uh, they are the master of the use of paradise, both of them. Uh, uh, regarding uh, his birth, his birth, uh, Imam Al Hassan, peace be upon him, he was born in the 15 of the blessed months of Ramadan. Uh, I think the second or the third year after the blessed migration um, and uh, he lived uh, uh, like we're gonna break down his life his life it was 54 years uh, at a young age uh, seven of these 54 years he lived uh, uh, under uh, in the presence of the Prophet uh, Muhammad peace be upon him uh, and then 37 years after that I think it was in the shadow of his dad Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib peace be upon him and then after the passing of Imam Ali on the 21st of Ramadan of the blessed months of Ramadan uh, Imam Hassan became the Imam uh, he took over after the 21st and he stayed as an imam for 10 years so imam ali passed in the 21st of blessed months of ramadan in the year 40 so he took over and he passed in the year 50 so his imams uh, his imama time was 10 years uh, he was uh, he he died he was poisoned not died. He was poisoned uh, in the, st uh, I think, uh, the 28th of the month of Safar in the year 50. And he was poisoned by, uh, he was given poison by his uh, wife, Jada bint al Ash'ath al Kindi, by order of Muawiyah ibn Abi Sufyan. And that was the cause of his death. Um, and he was uh, buried in, in uh, Al Baqiyah. Baqiyah in Medina, he was buried in Baqiyah. Uh, uh, that's pretty much cover everything. It covers his birthday, his uh, uh, death, uh, the reason for his death, his mom, dad, uh, grandfather, uh, the term of his imama, uh, when he took over, and for how long he stayed. Uh, like this we cover everything uh, the most important thing that I want to be talking about Imam al Hassan peace be upon him uh, that all the ahadith or everything that came to us it said that about him that he was a walking copy of the Prophet peace be upon him he resembled him in, in his features he resembled him with his manners and uh, I think that's more than enough to describe what a wonderful Imam and what a good man he was uh, for his time, 
for helping people. He was famous for helping people, for uh, giving advice, all of that stuff, just like the Prophet, peace be upon him. Uh, was all said and done uh, like this. We wrap everything about Imam Al Hassan, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, and uh, was all that uh, we will say. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We will see you next time. With uh, I think next time is gonna be about Imam Hussein. Uh, brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.